Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, I will show you how to create a bar chart, line chart, or pie chart type application. In this video, I will show you how to create a bar chart with negative value. Also, we can say how to represent the range value of data in bar chart. For example, we have to display a temperature value, which is come from a positive value and also in a negative value. So let's create the simple basic example code of bar chart with negative value. So please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And let's start. Just simply include the chart module. Let's include the basic required header file. Include Qt GUN. Also include Qt core value core core header file also include qt widget and include the qt chart okay now let's write the code in cpp file just simply create the let's take a two bar set mean value equal to new set we have to provide this set of data and create the max value write the value here and max value now let's open the data here we have to provide the or value so let's take a seven values so for a minimum value is a minus 10 Let's take a seven values minus 10, minus 20, minus 30, 40, 50, and minus 60. And let's take a positive value, <coughs> maximum value. Just remove the negative sign. This is the random data. You have to provide your real time data. So this is the mean value and the maximum value data ready. Now let's create the, we have to here use Q stake bar series. In normal bar series application, we just simply use a Q bar series class. Here we have to take, uh, use Q stake bar series class. Equal to new Q stake bar series. Now open the our series data, min value and max value. Okay, so our stake bar series is also ready. Now let's create the chart equal to new to chart. Now we have to add the series. So just simply add the our bar series object. Now we have to set the title. You can also set the any title. We just have to set the uh, value of the weeks. Okay. Now also you can set the animation. set animation option q chart let's take the series animation so this is our chart is also ready now we have to provide the category of the seven values of this data so let's create the take the q string list uh, days okay now we have to open our seven day value, seven days name. Monday. Let's add Tuesday. Third is Wednesday. Third is 
for this Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So now our categories list is ready. Now let's create the bar Q bar category class to display the multiple categories of data. Category axis. We have set this axis value in x x axis value. We set this data at x axis. Now let's open the data. Also, you can set the title. Set title. Title tag. Width. And we here now add this series axis in our chart. Add offset. And provide the location. Align bottom. We set this axis at the bottom. Now also we have to create the axis y value. So use q value axis class. Axis y equal to new q axis value. Now let's set the range of the value. Here we have to set the range. So our maximum values is uh, 60 and the minimum values is minus 60. So just simply define the minus 60 and 60. Okay. Also set the title. Set the title text. Here you can set your title text. Just simply define the value of values. Just simply set the values. Okay. Also we have now add this axis in our chart. So just simply copy this line and us change here the value and set the alignment align left okay so our chart ready and chart access values are ready now let's create the chart uh, view we'll do new to chart view set the so chart in chart view. So just simply pass the your chart object in chart view constructor. Let's set the set render hint Q painter use intelligence effect and now set the visible true. set visible true also we set the visible chart. And now set the chart in our central widget. Set central widget. And pass your chart view object here. Also set the visible our chart legend. Set visible true or set the alignment. Set alignment at qt align bottom okay now here we have to add this axis at the our series so this is just simply attach the axis attach axis axis x and axis y so now let's run the application wait for the build You can see the minimum value and maximum value and also you can see the effect here we have to add one more value 70 and 70 for this Sunday
you can see p value so by this way you can easily create the chart view application bar chart with negative value here we have to change the value here because our maximum values is now is 70 and minimum value is uh, 70 also you can set the specific color for the value so let's change the color here let's change the negative value for red and a positive value for green now let's run the application wait for the build can see the effect so this is the simple qt bar chart with negative value where you can see the up, upside down value for example if you want to set the range of value you can see you can use this concept for to display the range value of your data so please drop your comment if you have any questions about QT bar chart negative value or also about QT stake bar series value or class and thanks for watching my video please like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video and thanks for watching my video thank you